All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Coronal Vessel Viewer mod, which was originally made by form user Coronal. It's now being maintained by Kerbis at Astra. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is an amazing tool to take orthographic and offset images of your spacecraft in the game, and that is pretty darn cool. So let's uh, jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get. Now, before we get going, there are two prerequisite mods. The first being the click-through blocker, and the second being the toolbar controller. And with those installed, everything here should function properly and primarily giving you this handy little KVV button down here, which we'll use in a moment. Now with everything installed right, you just need to load up whatever ship you're wanting to take an image of and have at it. And the great part about this is, you know, typically in the game, all you can really do for screenshots is just move your camera around either in here or out at a launch and then take your screenshot but what if you want a sort of perfect flat side on view with perhaps a an exploded parts view with everything separated in a near schematic like image well that's where this mod comes into play and to do that we just need to hit that kvv button and it opens up our vessel viewer ui and this thing oh it's wonderful and is basically split up into two sections the top half being your controls and the bottom half of course being your view now as you can see here it's basically showing us what is happening right there in the vehicle assembly building and whatever we do here will also actually be shown here in the vehicle assembly building. We just have a little bit more control in here than out here. Now to start, let's look at the actual camera controls, and that is this little chunk of buttons up at the top, with the furthest left ones being a tilt, so you can either tilt the rocket forward or backwards, so if you want, you could get a bottom-up view or a top-down view, whichever you so desire. Now we then have this button here and this one, and these two will rotate the ship one way or another. The arrow keys then, of course, do move it up, uh, down, left, and right. And then we have the plus and minus keys to either zoom out or zoom in, so you can get exactly the view you're wanting to get. Now, if you completely mess up and you just don't feel like resetting everything, well, that's where the reset button comes in, and boom, click that. It's back to where you began. Now, the next option we have here is the orthographic checkbox. Now, by default, this is turned on, is, it's kind of sort of the purpose of this whole mod and it gives you that sort of flat dead on orthographic view of your vessel you can turn it off though and it goes more to the sort of 3d view which we would normally have over here and if we click that back on it of course goes back to orthographic now then you can also add in some more shadows here as you can see if we turn it all the way up you can see it most noticeably down at the bottom if i go from all the way up to all the way down so if you'd like to give it a bit more contouring basically with the shadows and then we have the file quality which will change the size of the file you take once you have the perfect view here and click this screenshot button and it's defaulted to the three setting which is 1416 by 4096 but you can go all the way down to 354 by 1024 or all the way up to 3186 by 9216 here's the thing though those numbers i just said are kind of meaningless because as we adjust this, and more specifically as we sort of tilt this thing up and down, you can see that the uh, dimensions there are changing because as you change the view, it sort of changes the numbers over here to basically offer you the best quality with the image you're trying to make because you could potentially make this image a lot wider than it typically would be. But it's quite cool that that does actively change. Now, when you're at the default reset setting here, those are the numbers you're going to typically get. But, of course, it'll change depending on what you set the quality to or how you move the ship around. And all in all, though, very nice to have those set options. Now, down here in this section, 
is my favorite part. This is what controls the exploded part view effectively, which we can turn on by hitting the offset view button. And if we go ahead and click that, boom, there we go. All the parts are separated, or at least most of the parts. Sadly, it doesn't separate out everything, but it separates out based off of these various criteria. So for instance, we have here the stack decouplers and separators. They are of course offsetting from one another. We then have the radial decouplers and separators, which are offsetting from one another down here. Any docking ports will also separate out. Engine fairings, you can either select to hide or show. By default, they are hidden. We then have the stock fairings, which will show here, but if we so desire, we can hide them, make them more opaque, or of course, offset them more or less. Then we have struts, which by default are hidden, and launch clamps, which are also default by hidden. And if you want to change any of these, you can just click them here, and you'll notice it didn't update down here. That's because you seem to have to click this offset view button again, and boom, the launch clamps and struts are now on this thing actively. And look weird because, well, parts are offset from one another, so let's just hide those again, and there we go. And I just love having this because it does give you a very, oh, what's the word I used earlier? Schematic-like, there it is. A very schematic-like view of the ship you've created. And you can adjust this to your liking. So if you want the stack decouplers to be more separated, we can do that, hit offset view, and boom, they're farther apart. If you want them less separated, of course, do the same thing, boom, they're closer together. And same with all the others. You want the radial decouplers further out so that these solid rocket boosters will be further out from the bottom? Well, there you go. And as you can see, all of those changes are occurring to the ship over here, which is kind of cool. So you get, you can see what's happening, and then this will take the proper image with this uh, dark blue background here. Again, once you have all your settings right, and you want to click the screenshot button, which I just clicked. It can sometimes take a while, especially if you do go to the highest quality of the file image here, but I'm going to show on the screen the picture we just took. Now, these images will go to the default screenshot directory for the game, so they're quite easy to find, and as you can see here, it's a good-looking image, especially since we did go with the highest quality size, and we can get a beautiful view of our vessel and it's just amazing and thanks to the different controls we do have in here to control how far the parts are away from one another if they even should be offset and if you have them hidden or not it's very cool you can really change these up and that plus the camera controls you can find exactly the image you're wanting to get and that that is a wonderful thing. That's really all there is to show off with this mod. It's just a great little tool for you to take some cool pictures of your ships. So if you'd like to take a look at it for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.